Hey everyone, Double here, back for part 19 of our Final Fantasy VII playthrough. In the last part, we uh, explored a ton of stuff now that Cloud is back in our party. Um, but first off, we went to Junon to get to the underwater reactor uh, where there was a huge materia being stored. Uh, Shinro, Shinro was planning on transporting it to a different location. I'm not quite sure if I remember if they were sending it to Midgar or if they were sending it to Rocket Town. Um, but regardless, um, because it was underwater, of course, their only mode of transportation was a submarine. So we chased after them in another submarine that was docked in the bay. And after that, we actually got to keep the submarine. And so that opened up a ton of areas for us to explore underwater. Uh, grabbed a key item, uh, went to a sunken ship, and also discovered Lucretia's cave, um, where we learned a bit more about Vincent's past. And... Uh, we also went back to Nibelheim to see kind of the aftermath of what happened at uh, at Nibelheim with Zack and Cloud. Um, so we basically got like the full picture of what actually happened at Nibelheim. Um, and then I think we might have gone to Wutai because we picked up the Leviathan scales. But uh, at the end, I said that uh, we talk about chocobo breeding, but I didn't have enough gill. So you probably see here my time on the last save on the last save was twenty six hours twenty seven minutes, and we were pretty much almost exactly four hours after my last save. Um, and yeah, I brought a gold chocobo off screen. I'll go over like pretty much exactly how you can do it. Um, so first things first, actually, is you want to get enough gill so that you can actually start this project. You don't need a ton of gill, I think. Um, but let's see. You want to talk to this guy up here. Um, I just showed the world map, but let me show it again. There's this little hole or this circle area that's surrounded by mountains in the northern continent. And that's where the chocobo sage lives. He also has a green chocobo who drops off an enemy skull materia for us. Apparently there are four in the game. I thought there were only three, but anyway, there's the chocobo sage here sells us silkus greens and reagan greens i don't know uh these greens reagan greens are really good if you want to catch a chocobo they make the chocobo eat the greens for the longest time longest amount of time in battle and silkus greens actually uh are, i think they raise the most stats by the highest amount i think there are other greens that raise like intelligence or some other stats like higher but overall silky screens i think are pretty much the best ones you could probably use um, and yeah chocobos have stats and this is going to be a little more important once we start racing them anyway um i say i think you might you want to have like at least 50 or so if i'm let's see here so let me let me do the math here yeah i'd say like 40 or 50 um at the bare minimum <laughs> so you'd want at least 
200,000 gil. And if you can't get that number of gil, then um, that's fine because, uh, like I said, Medeal is a great place uh, in disc two. This is disc two, by the way. <laughs> I know we don't have the uh, physical discs anymore, but we're, we're in disc two. Uh, if we're going by the original Final Fantasy VII uh, release. But, you know, just the forests outside of Medeal are a really great place to farm AP. Uh, especially if you encounter these guys. And so, um, all materia levels up pretty quickly. Um, and it sells for, I think, like 1.4 million gil when mastered. So, yeah, I like. I just farmed in this area for, I think, like an hour or two. Um, but I also, because uh, Seventh Heaven has a speed hack that goes up to eight times faster than normal game speed. <laughs> um, it That's why it took me like an hour or two of farming. Um, I think on like the normal console or Steam release, you only get up to three times. So it's going to take a bit longer than that. But yeah, once you have the requisite, like once you have enough gill um, and oh, right. You want to have at least like I'd say like, yeah, 26, 260k if you want to get like 40 silky screens. And then you also want to make sure you have 60k for the chocobo staples. Um, anyway, once once you have all that done, um, just uh, equip some chocobo lures, right? Uh, where is... The other one. All right. And then I, I showed off what chocobo you want to have when you start breeding the chocobos, but let's just see if we can encounter what we want. Great. Yep, so this is the battle formation you want. You want to see a spiral and a chocobo. Or I think you can even come it can even come in with two spirals. Um But yeah. You wanna see spirals with the chocobo. And that will give us what is known as the great chocobo. Oh, you know what? I should have caught this one. <laughs> so that um, you can see, yeah, let's, let's actually look for another one, shall we? Or even if it's not, let's just catch a chocobo. I want to show something. <laughs> Completely forgot. That's my bad. Distracted. Alright. So when you get off the chocobo, once you have cho uh, stables, you can send it back to the stables. And what's going to happen is, oh, let's not leave Goldie behind. <laughs> So when you when you send chocobos to the chocobo ranch, they end up outside in this pen, and I think you can it can only hold four. I'm not too sure, but once you have caught enough chocobos, just come back to the chocobo farm, chocobo ranch, 
and then move the chocobos into the chocobo stable. And Chocobilly is going to tell you the quote unquote, like the grade of the chocobo, I guess. And chocobos have like seven or eight grades, I think. Um, and this one is a good chocobo. Um, but if you, like I said, encounter chocobos with the spirals, they're pretty much guaranteed to be great chocobos. And the reason why we care about these grades is because only good or great chocobos can make blue chocobos. Like we see here. Got Bluey. I didn't realize Bluey was a, <laughs> a female character, but I couldn't think of a better name, so I just gave my male blue chocobo a uh, Bluey as a name. You have Terra, named Terra because Terra has green hair. Um, we have Shadow and Goldie, I think. Alma. <laughs> Alma, I forgot. Okay. Anyway, so you want to get a, two great chocobos of, you know, opposite sex, opposite genders, and once you have those chocobos, you can come to Cole here and ask Cole about which chocobo has the best stats. Right? So then you can feed the chocobo with the best stats around 10 to 15 silica screens and you do that by talking to your boy Choco Billy here and then you'll have all these greens listed beat the chocobo with the best stats the silica screens um, and really the only stats that matter right now are the fastest sprinter and the fastest one. Stamina is kind of important, but it's also like the highest stat to cap out. So um, it's all right. You don't really need to concern yourself with stamina. Speed and top speed is pretty much, yeah, what you want to be looking at. Um, and then, so once you fed those chocobo, once you fed the chocobo with the best stats, some silica screens. Just take the jo gold chocobo out again. What you want to do is head over to the gold saucer. And unfortunately, I don't think there is a fast way to get to the gold saucer. You kind of have to go through Corel. But, um, yeah, at the gold saucer, there are those chocobo races. Uh, we did one way, way back when we were, um, not framed, but kind of like, oh man, I don't know what the phrase is. I completely forgot. It's blanking my mind. <laughs> my... Huh. We were caught up in a misunderstanding, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, we had to, we had to each race to get out of the uh, the prison. Um, let's do Alma. We haven't raced. I haven't raced Alma yet. Actually, no. It's going to take a while, so let's just race with Shadow. And 
We saw the short course, so let's do the long course this time. And uh, if Sid's in your party, he can ask to write, actually, so... And... Oh man, I forgot this guy shows up. <laughs> we'll be fine. So yeah, Chocobo Racing. You wanna win, I think, at least four? Maybe five. Uh, you, wa you wanna win four to five races between the two Chocobos? Uh, but obviously because you only fed... If you only feed one of the Chocobos with the greens, then that's the Chocobo you wanna race. Um, I personally caught like four great chocobos, you know, two male, two female, and then I just fed the two chocobos that had the best stats, and I raced those two, so uh, I thought that would go faster, I don't know, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> But yeah, you want to do the race and you want to win um, between four and five races. But um, like you can win two races with one of the chocobos you want to mate and two races with the other chocobo, just as long as there are four total race wins between the two of them. Uh, and then after that, we need to grab another item. This time, uh, it's the item that you have to steal from the enemy I was trying to encounter just outside of Bone Village, but I couldn't find it, so. Let's see if my luck's any better this time around. Um, obviously you can like go and steal this item before you even start the whole chocobo breeding process, but I'll talk about why um, you might not want to do that uh, once we talk about what happens after. So there's an enemy here. Kind of looks like a like a red dinosaur. I just I forgot what it was called. Not these guys. If you see these little these little dudes, just run. You can just run. <laughs> they are not what we want to see. Also, uh, I like mastered four or five all materia just in case. <laughs> all right, this is what we want. Um, this guy has a carob nut. And it's called the Black Gorados. Uh, anyway. <laughs> He's a pretty tough enemy. Um, after you steal a carob nut and you just want to run, that's totally fine. You don't have to beat it or anything. But since we're here, we may as well. One tough cookie. <laughs> Alright. So, once you have the carob nut, you can head back to the Chocobo Ranch, Chocobo Farm, 
Choco Billy. <laughs> Head back to Choco Billy's place. And... Once you're here, you can talk to Choco Billy, and we can meet the Chocobos. So you go up to the Chocobo, and this is what I want to talk about. But you go to the Chocobo, and you say, this one. And you go to the other Chocobo, and it says, this one, and then you can read them. Um, I don't know when the RNG decides the color of the chocobo. Um, I think maybe if you just save before you decide you're gonna, you know, breed, then I think you can just restart. And try again. I think, I think, like, the RNG is decided, yeah, I'm, I think the RNG is decided when you decide, like, on the second chocobo, uh, what color the chocobo you're gonna get is, so just save outside of the farm, and if you don't get, uh, the chocobo that you want, then just reset, um, and then, yeah, so two great chocobos can make a blue chocobo or a green chocobo. So once a chocobo has been, you know, once two chocobos have uh, mated, you can't immediately go back to them and, you know, make them do it again. <laughs> the game actually makes you... Uh, wait a little and by wait uh, it means you have to fight like around 10 battles uh, and that is why I decided to get two different sets of great chocobos so that I didn't have to do two I didn't have to do 10 battles um, but pretty sure 10 battles is just as much time as doing like an extra four chocobo races so it's really up to you um anyway once you have the two chocobos you can ask cole again for which one has the best stats beat those chocobos uh beat the chocobo uh feed the blue or the green chocobo whichever one has the best stats silk is greens and then go race them for uh, let's see here. Nine wins. So, hopefully the green one is the one with the better stats because the green one is easier to win races with. Um, but, yeah. Uh, once you win around, like, around nine races with the green chocobo, um, you can breed it with the blue chocobo with a carob nut and uh, I don't know why I left actually uh, I don't know if you guys saw but Chocobilly says that you can't breed newborns obviously because <laughs> that's weird um, so what you want to do here is He says here, you shouldn't mate those who have just mated or those that were just born, right? Um, so what you want to do is you want to fight around... Again, around like 10 battles. Um... And this is why I was saying that you don't want to uh, grab all the carob nuts immediately. Um,
you could just go back up here to the icicle in area in front of the in front of bone village and just run around after each breed after each mating session looking for the uh red dinosaur monster and just steal the carob nuts um and when you're fighting battles um if you run away it doesn't count as having time passing so just fight everything uh grab the carob nut breathe the blue and gold or breathe the blue chocobo and the green chocobo which is two carob nuts by the way uh, and once the green chocobo is prepared uh, then you can breed it with the blue chocobo with another carob nut and once you do that you get a black chocobo so blue and green gives you black um, and again, same thing with the black chocobo, feed it the silky screens, and oh. when you feed it, when you're done feeding it the silky screens, uh, it needs to win around 12 races, and know if you guys saw but each chocobo was like a certain class um alma is currently class c because i didn't race her at all but that's fine but races get harder the higher your class is so uh if your black chocobo is up to it then that's totally fine you know go ahead and win 12 races but um, you could also come here and look for the chocobo that you need to breed a gold chocobo with the black chocobo. Um, again, I think I pointed it out when we were in the area, but on these tracks, there is a chocobo with a certain enemy configuration. Not this one. I saw this one so many times, <laughs> but it's not this one. Let's see if we can actually find it because getting four of the wonderful chocobos was quite a struggle. Hopefully we can get it. Nope. <laughs> This is definitely not the one we want. See if these shorter tracks are any better. I doubt it. Okay, if we can't find it on the next go around, then I'll just uh, talk about or describe which enemy you want to see with the chocobo. And yeah, if you attack the chocobo, uh, it just runs away automatically. I'm sure there are some of those chocobos that we ran away from were, you know, good enough. But this is what you want to see. You want to see it with these guys jumpings. Um... These are guaranteed to be wonderful chocobos and we need to have wonderful chocobo to uh, breed with the 
black chocobo if you want to get a gold chocobo. Wow, this jumping is evasive as all hell. What is happening? Oh my word. Okay. Are we... <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> anyway. Let's send it back to the stable so I can show that it is, in fact, a wonderful chocobo. Obviously, you want to catch, again, you want to catch four of them just to make sure that you get the chocobo, the wonderful chocobo that is the opposite gender of your black chocobo. And that is another point where, you know, you can pass time doing fights and see here, this is a wonderful chocobo. Go ahead. We don't need it. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's another point where you can pass time, make sure that the black chocobo is ready to uh, mate. And once it is, you can breed it with the wonderful chocobo. Um, Instead of carob nuts this time, what you want is, uh, I think it's called a Zeo nut. And the only place where you can find Zeo nuts are here. This is island off to the northeast called Goblin Island as is tradition. <laughs> uh, and as you might imagine, we encounter goblins here. These guys carry Zayo nuts. They're pretty weak though, so... You know. If you have counterattack or any sort of counter materia equipped, uh, be sure to unequip it so that you don't, you know, kill the goblin on accident. On a counter attack. Uh, it's also a great time to learn Goblin Punch. is not giving up his nut. Just absolutely refuses to give up his nut. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. There you go. Holy cow. That was... That was many attempts. <laughs> anyway, read the Black Chocobo with the Wonderful Chocobo. Uh, after the Black Chocobo has 12 wins. And, you know, enough time has passed for us to be able to mate. And then... You get... A gold chocobo. Now, why did I go through this whole rigmarole of getting a gold chocobo? Well... There are certain places only chocobos can access. And there are certain places only gold chocobos can access. Um, so the green chocobos can 
climb mountains. Uh, blue chocobos can run across like shallow waters. I think basically blue chocobos can go wherever the tiny bronco can go. Um, and then some. <laughs> uh, black chocobo can cross uh, both types, as you might imagine, since it is made from both green and blue chocobos. And, or green and yeah, green and blue chocobos. And then the gold chocobo can actually cross any terrain, which is super co cool, very convenient for us. Um, let's bring her out again. to where there are some secret stuff. So for instance, that's a cave over there. But we can't access it through normal means. Right? This shallow water doesn't connect to anything really. Can't get to it from the, with the tiny Bronco. Or the submarine and the high wind can't get there either. Um, so this one, if you have a, I think if you have a green chocobo, that's pretty much all you need. Since you just need to be able to get across this. Um, there is something funny you can do with a high wind, where if you um, make a move, but also hit cancel at the same time, it kind of shoots forward. So you can almost glitch yourself off the cliff face. But that, you know, that requires precision and I'm not the most precise person. <laughs> anyway, over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. Yet Quatra magic Pretty powerful, um... Forgot what the blue ones are labeled as, but it's pretty powerful. You can use the paired magic four times. And something cool you can do actually is... So, Cloud has fire, but if he had fire paired with, um... So if this fire was paired with, let's say, Quadra Magic, and let's see here, if he had this fire materia on here and paired this with like MP Absorb, then he would be absorbing, uh, he would absorb MP, casting fire, but he would also be able to cast that fire four times, like. So, like, doing that kind of materia combination actually works, and it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool what they allow you to do with uh, materia setups. Anyway. There is another... ...thing out here somewhere. That thing, that is what we need the gold chocobo for, really. So let's go get it. It's way out here, middle of nowhere. show. <laughs> I guess that's the best we got, but that's where we are. In 
here we have the best summon in the game, Knights of the Round. Does a ton of damage. But yeah, that is what we need the gold chocobo for, actually. The entire reason why I, you want to go through this is because. Get Knights of the Round, one of the. It's such a busted summon, but as you might imagine, it does take up a quite a quite a bit of your MP. <laughs> um, let's see, the next place is over here, I think, actually. There you go. Here we have HP to MP. This is weird. I never actually used it. But I'm sure there's a, you know, use case for it <laughs> somewhere in some materia combinations or setups. And finally, we have things over here. It's got to be this, right? Where's the closest we can land? I guess here. Mime! One of the most busted materials in the game. <laughs> This command materia is absolutely ridiculous. Allows you to copy the last action. Um, so let's say, you know, Cloud summoned Knights of the Round. Well, whoever has Mime equipped next and, like, you know, takes their next action can summon Knights of the Round. <laughs> and then, you know, if you master mine, then you can have another mine in, uh, you get another mine. And if the third character has that and they go next, then they can, you know, summon Knights of the Round. So yeah, mine is pretty busted. Because it's been actually, do we even need the submarine to go back? I don't know. Well, we're on it anyway. <laughs> Let's go back to Lucretia because time has definitely passed while I was breeding the chocobos. <laughs> take care of this I think I want to say I'm safe enough in my levels to go into and explore the sunken ship but I don't know <laughs> well we'll see we'll see because I do want to show what what is in this ship itself so Come on. There we go. Let's grab our good old friend Vincent.
Where'd she go? Is she still there? Lucretia. And we get the death penalty and chaos. Death penalty is Vincent's ultimate weapon. And all ultimate weapons have eight linked slots and no materia growth, but they're quite powerful and they each have a unique property to them. Um, Vincent's ultimate weapon deals more damage based on the number of enemy he has killed throughout the playthrough. So obviously it can get kind of nuts. <laughs> um, you can actually overflow the damage numbers so that um, game glitches and immediately just kills whatever you hit um, with Vincent's attack. Uh, and that is one strat <laughs> to beating uh, Emerald Weapon. I don't actually know if that works against Ruby Weapon. Uh, I think Ruby Weapon's stats are made such that you are disincentivized or cannot overflow damage on it, but I could be wrong. But there are, you know, other ways of beating Ruby Weapon. Um, obviously, just spamming Knights of the Round is a viable option. <laughs> Again, it's just such a powerful, powerful summon. That, just, you know, anyway. Hey, there it is. Glad I remembered where it was. Let's actually, uh, get a tent in. Because again, I don't want to get wrecked. <laughs> um... This is uh, always a problem I have. It's like, I've, you know, I know what I want to, I guess. Here's what we'll do. What element does it not have? It's not like entirely, terribly important, but Let's just do that. Oh, this is a pretty fun combination. Sneak attack with steel. You just start off the fight with the uh, steel. It's not terribly powerful, but yeah. Let's grab full cure on Barrett. I think full cure actually has quite a ton of AP required to master it, so. Um. Yeah, it has some of the most. I think Ultima and Contain are in the same boat. No, Ultima is more than Contain, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> uh, uh, the real only reason why I'm like even considering any of this is because Barret's ultimate weapon levels or does more damage based on how much AP is slotted into it. So. Yep, seems good to me. I think we read that last time we were here. And then we like got immediately wrecked by one of the monsters. <laughs> so we couldn't explore all of it. Escort guard, that is... Okay, that is not what I meant to do. Where's crystal sword? There it is. Um, that's an armlet. Armor. Man's armlet that nullifies lightning, earth, water, and poison. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. You only get five slots, but you get a ton, you know, get all that elemental resistance, so. 
Can you really complain? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but, you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Things are going great. You know what? Let's just run. Why not? <laughs> That's a totally viable option. Just run. What am I even doing? Why did I entertain the thought of even fighting these things? Uh, there should be a chest here. Yep, Conformer. This is Yuffie's ultimate weapon. And one of the best, actually. Similar to how Vincent's is one of the best. And that's because this is dependent on enemy levels. So the higher the enemy level, the more damage you do. Um, yeah, really, really good, really good late game, because obviously enemy levels are going to be quite high. Yeah, like, I leveled up, I want to say like 10 times, maybe 15. I think I gained like 15 levels and this place is still like whooping me, you know? Probably would have been easier if I had like HP plus materials, if I'm being completely honest, but who's keeping track? Double cut. Very good materia, actually. Gives you 2x attack and 4x attack. So. I think I quite like it. I don't know if the attacks are lower in terms of damage when you use it, but. I'm actually like looking at a list of uh, max AP that each materia has. <laughs> Just trying to figure out what I really want on Barret's weapons. It's like so hard to give up the elemental stuff, but maybe it's time to say goodbye to them, you know? I'll make that concession. <laughs> we don't really need it. Um, let's do that for now. But yeah, two times attack or two double cut. Gives a. requires a ton of AP to master, so. Who might these two be? Turks? 
again. We just seem to keep running into each other lately. There were weapons and materia developed solely to destroy Sephiroth, but was attacked by a weapon and sunk to the bottom of the sea. I can't give you what's here. We'll take out Sephiroth. I guess this is our last meeting. I won't let you get in our way. Alright, man. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, yeah, he's got the haste. Wall. And you definitely want to steal from these guys. They've got some pretty... I think Rude has... Pretty good, uh... uh Rude's got a uh, pretty good armor, and Reno I think has a uh, tough ring. Yeah. The only reason why I'm like so hesitant to use Sid's Limit Break is because it attacks everybody, so... <laughs> there you go. Alright, now we can just go all out. Sid, you okay, bud? That was weird. guys are pretty tough. We sure are. Alright, someone needs to get this guy. Cloud stopped. Oh man. Is Rude okay? Why isn't he attacking? <laughs> Tifa's not in our party. Alright. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I mean, I was, I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, that was um, Sid's level 2 limit break. Uh, level 2-1 limit break. We just got his level 2-2 limit break. Uh, also showed Barrett's level 3-1 limit break. So Shinra's new secret weapon was on the airship. Oh man. So much happened. <laughs> but let's check out... Zydric. Zedric. One of those two but decreases all elemental attacks by half. In exchange, no materia slots, but you get a ton of defenses. Look at those stats. Very powerful armor piece. Tough ring, very good. Again, bit and spirit up by 50. That's a lot, that's a lot. Um, let's just give Cloud the Ribbon, why not? <laughs> why not? All 
Alright, and I think this is the last room. This must be the cargo room. Um, also, all these enemies have, well, apart from this guy, I think that might be the only enemy here with a normal name, Serpent. <laughs> Is this any good? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good, but it also only has four slots. <laughs> Sid's got some really weird weapons. This is terrible. It's all messed up. What is that materia? 80s. Oh, you know what? I guess... I can sh Ah, uh, but... Mm. This takes so long. I also don't know that I showed off... Uh, Alexander? No, I did. I did show Alexander. I don't think I showed Phoenix. That's the one I missed out on. Highwind is Sid's level 4 limit break. Outsider, I think, is a weapon for Vincent. Yeah. But I think that's pretty much everything here, so. Yeah, this one is called Unknown 3. Uh, the other two weirdos are called Unknown 2 and Unknown 1. And these guys are not the same as the Unknown from Pokemon. They're much more powerful. <laughs> uh, but, yep, yeah, that is the sunken ship. Pretty much everything you can do here. So let's get on out. Really what you want to come down here for is the Reno and Root fight. And... 80s, the high wind, and the actually pretty much everything. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, there's not that many things that you want from the second ship, but you, you want pretty much everything from it, so. Oh my lord. Oh god. There we go. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to cover in terms of side stuff. So let's head to Rocket Town. Where is Rocket Town again? <laughs> All right. So, Dragon attacks and drains HP and MP from an enemy. Kind of sounds like Kamari's Lancet, if I'm being honest. But let's just set the level to level 3. I don't actually know if Sid can learn Highwind at this point. No. Okay, so... They need to learn all of the limit breaks before you get even think about touching the um <laughs> level four actually you know what i feel like doing rocket town is gonna take it's gonna actually start um a sequence that might be a bit too long for us so here's what we'll do instead gonna spend some more time at the gold saucer um 
we're not completely done with the gold saucer yet because it actually holds Cloud's final limit break. Square and it's one of the rewards for having enough battle points of which I have zero so here's what we're gonna do um, let's arrange everything let's get rid of all this stuff say um Deathblow, Atticut, Comet we don't need the Chuck Bowler anymore actually let's grab the double cut is there anything else I want to take I don't really need that either Maybe the steel as well work with double cut? I don't know. Probably doesn't. That's alright. <laughs> steel cloud up back to full. And give him the Zydric, might as well. Zedric. Let's register. So registration takes 10 GP. Um, you can fight up to eight battles, but the more battles you fight, the greater your handicap and stronger the monsters will become. All right, I'll show them. And uh, doing chocobo races is actually a great way to farm GP. Uh, if you win an item you don't really care about, you can ask to ex exchange for GP instead. Okay, yeah, it seems like steel as well doesn't pair with double cut. Uh, oh well. It's probably because double cut just changes your attack command, so. Um, here we go. Uh, keep going. And the slots begin. So, this is the handicap that she was talking about. Down five levels, that's fine. Um, the reason why you want to come into this with ribbon equipped actually is because some of the handicaps inflict status ailments on you. So, just coming in with ribbon equipped makes, I want to say, like half of the handicaps just completely pointless and something you don't have to worry about. I guess the one mistake I did make was I didn't bring um, Cure with me. <laughs> but even then, like, there's a handicap that gets rid of... Uh, that doesn't allow you to use, like, green materia. Um, there's a handicap that doesn't let you use any materia, for that matter. Speaking of, we have that green materia handicap right here. Uh, the ring is accessories, I think. See that on the real it's, uh, <laughs> start sweating. Half HP is not the greatest. This is one that I should have come equipped with. <laughs> Q 
here. Oh well, that's alright. I actually don't know where you find these guys. I want to say in like the northern continent. Actually, heal up here. Oh man, these suck. Okay, half MP isn't so bad. <laughs> can keep Meteor Rain for the next fight. I don't know why I was stuck in that camera position. That was weird. Oh no, support Materia. Ah, oh well. Guess we can't death blow at a cut anymore. That's okay. <laughs> Getting through it. Weapon break. Oh god. Oh, okay. Zero MP. Ooh. It's not as terrifying. These guys aren't that bad at all. Definitely gonna have to heal at the start of the next fight, though. Oh, and that is no items, no magic materia, or no materia at all. Okay, well, you know, it was a good run, Cloud. <laughs> Can't heal? Oh, jeez. This is gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm done. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't get through it all, then you don't get any reward. Well, that sucks. Where is my restore? There we go. Um, I wonder if it's almost better to have like some sort of elemental training going on. Alright, we're just gonna speed through this. Oh, this is... This is no bueno. <laughs> no handicap, let's go. Cure, let's go. Oh god. Oh, oh great. That's not good. <laughs> oh, I can't attack it. It's flying right now. Well, that's a... Uh... Kinda lame. <laughs> All 
Alright, for sure we're gonna heal up first. Do I have anything I can like throw at this thing? I do have some stuff. Throw a whole right arm at him. Bolt three? Why not? Okay. There you go. Holy cow. <laughs> Ah, weapon broken. Well... That's alright. Can we actually hit this guy? We can, okay. Like worried it's another one of those <laughs> uh, flying situations. All right, we're five fights in. Another materia broken. Darn. Kind of want to heal here. Let's speed this up though. These birds haven't like rage bombed Cloud. Oh, well, as soon as I say that, right? As soon as I say that. <laughs> okay. Well, nothing can be worse than having our one broken, so. Let's heal ourselves up again. That white wind spam was ridiculous. More X potions. All right, let's see here. Like, literally, none of those slots are gonna damage us more than we've already been hurt, so. Yeah, getting all our materia broken is so unfortunate, actually. Well, that was unfortunate, too. What the heck? You know what? I don't like this place. That's the battle arena. Uh. Uh. All right. Actually, I think uh, once we get outside, we'll just head to Rocket Town, save, and then end it there. <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm upset, but also not upset because <laughs> the way it ended was just way too funny. I completely forgot the ghost ship could just eject you from the fight. That's, that's really unfortunate.
All right. Oh, man. I had a cough. That was rough. Um... Let's see here. Should we just equip this? It's got the same number of slots as the crystal bangles, so... Maybe we should have equipped this to begin with. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was being a real fool. Not time all for sure. Get comment on there. And do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mining earth, water, and poison. Okay. That looks good to me. Town next. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Lots of just side stuff, really. But I hope it was informative, at least. And, and then we'll continue with, with this story next time. See you there. Bye.